Simon Belmont is coming to your Netflix stream. We get our Tetris on with the world champion and Coolio was supposed to scare us, but why? This is your Looter News Live. What is going on everybody? Josh here for another Looter News Live. No sophomore slump for us. We're gonna send you off into the weekend and remind you to go watch Legion if you haven't already. This is not an advertisement, just a declaration of love. Let's get to these week's stories. Joel Schumacher Batman movies, please don't turn this off, are the pinnacle of bad superhero movies, but a fun bad, you know what I mean? Like, remember how fun Jim Carrey was as the Riddler? Anyway, the cast in those two films was pretty insane, and before the third one was canceled by the studio, there were rumors floating around about who was going to play the big bats. Nicolas Cage, who has basically become our unofficial mascot, was rumored to be the Scarecrow, as was Jeff Goldblum. Ra's al Ghul was also rumored to be a villain as well, but now we know a new entry to the film that never happened. In an interview this week, rapper and chef Coolio revealed that he was supposed to play Scarecrow in the follow-up movie to Batman and Robin. Now, if you were in charge of casting villains in a Schumacher Batman universe, who would you choose? Tell us in the comments below and we will get back to your answers at the end of the show. Now, speaking of bats, Castlevania, the game that launched a thousand sequel games, including that one with the uh, skeletons on motorcycles, well, it's finally getting a TV show. Adi Shankar, the man behind that gritty Power Rangers film that appeared online two years ago, as well as the super rad Dread movie, seriously, go watch it immediately, he is helming the ship. Now, if you're burnt out on vampires from a decade of vampire saturation like I am, do not worry. Shankar posted on Facebook the other day about the series and confirmed that he will, quote, flip the vampire subgenre on its head. Now, to do such flipping, the show has employed comic book writer and vampire fashion enthusiast Warren Ellis to pen the show. You might know Warren Ellis from his comics, The Authority, Planetary, and Transmetropolitan, and if you do, then you know he is going to knock the script out of the park. The series will be hitting Netflix later this year, so now you have more than just Stranger Things to look forward to. As you all are aware, this month's theme is build, and what better way to build than with Tetraminos? Yes, that's actually what they're called. Sort of like Domino's. No, no, not like the pizza. Great, now I'm hungry. Anyway, join us after the break as we sit down with Jonas Neubauer, the Tetris world champion. We're gonna watch him play some classic NES Tetris, and hopefully he can give me a few pointers because I'm like really, really bad at Tetris. Seriously, really bad. We'll be right back. How does Loot Crate obtain such exquisite geek and gaming treasures every month? They rely on the best. Every month we curate an epic mystery box of ridiculously cool surprises with amazing themes like cipher and fantasy. Heroes, villains, you get it. Every last crate containing exclusive one-of-a-kind items. Then I deliver it to you for under 20 bucks a month. And I guarantee it'll be worth at least twice that much. You're welcome. So get yourself a Loot Crate. Seriously, you already missed out on this one. LootCrate.com. Epic wins every month. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Josh is here again. Like I said, we're here with the world champion of Tetris, Jonas Neubauer. Welcome to the show. Welcome to Looter News Live. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you. Um, we're gonna see uh, we're gonna see some world championship uh, Tetris in person today. Um, I'm, I'm pretty stoked. So walk us through, uh, kind of walk us through. I'm a, an absolute Tetris noob for all of you out there. So this is gonna be hilarious. Um, walk us through kind of what we're looking at. Type A, Type B. Um, you know, what's sort of like the, the world championship uh, style of Tetris look like? The format we play is type A, and we start on level 18, so let's get going with that. All right. So level 18, so this is like the warm, this is where you go to warm up, this uh, speed. You can warm up here, or if you want to do kind of the, the fungo bat uh, swing, you know, the heavy baseball sure. bat, Level 19 is a great way to warm up because then every other speed seems slow in comparison. And then, it, so when when you're competing, is level 19 like the competition speed or does the score that you get sort of like connect to the speed that you're doing? So if you try to lob it in there at like level 16, level 17, it's gonna be at like a slower pace, but it's easier to rack up a high score. Um, the game is actually very balanced, so if you start on a lower uh, level, right. you get less points. Got um, it, got it. But the pace to the kill screen, which is level 29, is pretty, it's weighted pretty evenly. Right. So you can't start on a particular level and have an easier time maxing out the score to a million. 
So, so that, that that's my next question. So, world champion of Tetris, like, is it based purely on like, you know, is it like a bracket? Are you head to head with people, or is it literally just like you're in a line, like you're in an order, and you see who can hit the highest score? Uh, it's head to head, so it's best of three until the finals, which is a best of five. Uh, you play the same piece distribution, and. Uh, it's whoever can outlast and get the higher score. So it's very much score based, but you have to balance your aggression with survivability. Right. So like, if you and I are going head to head, and I decide to play it on like a lower level, like even if you go out like before I do, I might not beat your score, right? Exactly. Well, we always have to play the same level, um, but we can play a slower, quicker pace. Sure, sure. So I've been, I'm known to play as slow as possible to let my opponent kind of jump out ahead, and then I can see what score I have to beat, because oftentimes that. he'll top out first. That, that, that was my next question. So there's like a lot of strategy to how you go into, it isn't always like the person that does it on the fastest speed and the highest level that's going to come out on top. No, in fact, uh, it's almost like public speaking. So people that are very nervous will want to play as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. Just like when you were, you know, in economics and doing a presentation in front of the class and uncomfortable, you'll fire through that thing as fast right. as possible. You'll, you'll talk really, really fast. So we've seen elements of that. Yeah, the, the fact that you've sat here this whole time, you know, shooting the breeze with me and really haven't missed a step is absolutely mind blowing to me because I would have, I would have messed this up six ways from Sunday you know, five minutes ago. So what I'm going to do here, I've, I pulled up some some trivia some trivia questions here about Tetris. While you're playing Tetris, I'm going to test your Tetris knowledge while you show off your, sure. your Tetris prowess. So here we go. Uh, just a handful of questions. Um, who of the Apple co-founders was an avid Tetris player? You know, I'm going to go with Wozniak. That is correct. That's a correct answer. Uh, Steve Wozniak. Uh, by the way, that's also the name of one of Luke Crate's co-founders' dogs. Steve Wozniak. Um, I didn't know that. Yeah, they, they, so there's a little trivia. There's a little loot crate trivia for like you moving it. forward. Uh, question number two. So you're one and zero, oh, and you, you you haven't you haven't lost yet. So that's incredible. Number two. Um, what mode of Tetris can you technically never win? Um, I would say marathon. That's correct. I didn't even know that was a thing. Is marathon mode like a like is that in like old school Tetris or is that something that's kind of more like newfangled? Marathon is all about who can hold it the longest. Right, right, right. So it tops out at a speed that is manageable, and it becomes um, quite literally a marathon where you just play endlessly until you are bored or give up or make so many mistakes because you're so tired that you eventually top out. So it's at like a it's at a much so slower speed then. Uh, it's it's at a manageable speed. So. It's, Speed's always relative to if it's hard drop, right. instant lock, stuff like that. You Got can it. get kind of in the semantics of the thing. Makes sense. All right. So 2-0. Oh. Question number three. What year did Weltris, the Tetris sequel, come out? Oh, let's see. This one, this one I don't know. Weltris sounds like a, a self-help kind of retreat for people. Or like the self-help book on how to get better at, at Tetris. Right, because you could you could treat it with uh, PTSD with Tetris, so I feel like if I was going to make some kind of Malibu retreat for the stars... you call, call it Weltris? I'd call it Weltris. So I'm going to go with uh, 91. This actually came out in 89. Oh, okay. So it did did the the original Tetris came out in 89 as well? Uh, Tetris came out in 1984 because it had its 30th anniversary in 2014. Got it. That wasn't one of the trivia questions. He just already knew that one yeah. as well. I, so, I think I should get a bonus extra credit for that so one. So I'll give you credit for number three then because you knew that. So you're three and oh. Nice. Question number four. What system did Tetris Worlds come out on? Tetris Worlds was... I want to say PlayStation? GameCube. Uh, GameCube. So, all right. So you're three and one. Uh, final question. Uh, a little bit of a true-false. Tetris 2 came out on Super, NES, and Game Boy. True or false? Uh, false. That is correct. It came out on NES and Game Boy. What does that sound mean? What does that? What is? So it? I just um, it, it switched to level 19, which is it gets progressively faster. Uh, so it almost becomes uh, whoa pure world weight. What I is know. this? I wasn't I wasn't ready for it. This is the Kremlin taking off. 
uh, and the end credit screen. So 426,000 is actually not a great score. Um, but according to this, you are a Tetris master. Oh yeah. Well, because I like you the, launched the Kremlin into the stratosphere. I like the external validation for sure. It makes me feel better. Got it. Got it. All right. So I'm I'm sitting here with the the the, the Tetris world champion. It only makes sense that maybe I get a little Tetris uh, a little Tetris 101. So maybe you, I'll, I'll give it a shot, and you can uh, you can let me know uh, you know what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, how I can improve my Tetris game. So where where, where do I begin here? So you hold a. You're, you're going to start on level 18. Well, gonna, I'm, I'm uh, starting on the like the the legit like level here. Exactly. I actually lost on purpose because I want you to, to try the level 18. Try it. Here. Okay. Cool. Here we so. go. Here we go. All right. Starting. There you go. Right. Oh, okay. And do, yeah. Oh, doing great so far. And just. Ooh. Oh goodness. All right. That's. Ooh, I you're going to want to. My goal. Oh, son of a gun. Okay. So my goal here is to try to complete. One line. Well, you want to get four lines at the same time. Four, four so, lines at yeah, the you same gotta time. Keep, you got to keep your eye on the oh, prize. Son of a gun. Well, that's. <sighs> so that's, that's level eighteen. Really, um, a really good start. Okay. You, you might as well try level nine. So let's let's slow this down and actually get into the the, the basics okay, of it. Okay, so here. I'm trying level nine. But that was a taste of the taste of the real of yes, the real deal. Okay. Exactly. Oh, I messed. I'm doing. I'm on. <laughs> It's all about timing. See, I knew gonna, what you wanted to do. I'm not going to quit my day job here at, right. at Loot Crate. Oh, I thought that was going to be a, a good one. Yeah, so you got hung up there. I got I got hung up, absolutely. Here we go. Okay. All right, I'm feeling all right. Yeah, I'm take, feeling take good. Take that to the left. Look at that. Or Look right at, there. What? Oh, son of a bee sting. I like the little okay. last second adjustment. I don't I don't know if that was a <laughs> that good... Was, I don't know was that you're... purposeful? Yep. It absolutely was purposeful. Oh, you can goodness. hear the gears turning. You can, you can literally hear the gears turning in my head. Oh goodness! Oh, ooh, oh, wait! Oh no! I, I'm in trouble now. I'm in trouble. So th okay, so this is level nine, which right. is literally ten levels below, like what the the like professional guys are doing. Right. Yeah. So this is this is the the without cheating. This is what you can start on, and so a lot of people have played this level, and Got then it. they'll compete thinking that this is. Just the the pinnacle sure, of what sure. NES Tetris can offer, and it's a wake up call when they have to start on yeah. level eighteen. I yeah, even just that little short snippet, I, I see just how um, out of my league I am here. So we've seen Tetris on your terms, World Championship Tetris. Uh, I'm thinking we should give something else a try, maybe Tetris on Loot Crate terms. We're gonna have Holland here. She's gonna escort you to a little Loot Crate Tetris. She's rocking some orange today. I see you're rocking the blue, which absolutely works for we've got waiting sure. for you. Um, a little, a little spoiler alert. Maybe a little human size, a little live size Tetris. I won't spoil too much more. Um, we'll be right back with Jonas competing against uh, Holland and some other folks not, here at Loot Crate. really against. Against? Yeah. We're competing. Yeah. Community. We've yeah. leveled the playing field. Sure, you're yes. right, right. Yes. All right. Well, we'll be right back. We're going to send you one more message, but when we come back, we're going to hit you with Tetris Loot Crate style. We'll be right back. What are we doing today? What are we cooking? Andy? Well, today we're going to do Negus. Breakfasticus. Is there a like a chart that we should go by? A color chart? Or is it just, that's brown enough? Here we go. I'd f whoever made this. Um, I would not.
faster than a speedster on a time treadmill. Loot more powerful than your typical collectible, making you leap for geeky joy with a single box. Loot crates. Feel super with exclusive apparel, collectibles, and more each and every month. Learn more and sign up at lootcrate.com today. I am so glad that I didn't have to do that. I was sweating just watching it. Anyway, welcome back. We asked all of you at the top of the show who you would cast as a villain in a Joel Schumacher Batman movie. And our moderator, Holland, and the winner of Human Tetris is gonna come in here right now. She's written down some, an <laughs> she's written down some answers for me. She's very out of breath. All right, so we've got our three choices here. Lee Means is our first winner. He said Michael Jai White as Azrael. Solid choice. Very, very uh, Spawn-esque. Uh, selection here. Michael Jai White played spot for Spawn, for anybody who doesn't know. Uh, Owen Cribbs just says Jack Black, period. Uh, maybe Jack Black playing Jack Black in a Batman movie. Maybe it's Jack Black p playing Penguin. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Aaron Havenar says, I would cast the Crimson Chin, uh, which I am told is a Fairly Odd Parents reference. I, I don't know if I've ever watched Fairly Odd Parents before. Uh, I do have a couple of shout outs. Robbie Shuttleworth, he's an employee here at uh, Loot Crate, one of our fantastic customer support people, says, can we just cast the game of Tetris as the next Bat Batty? Uh, after watching me play it, I would say absolutely yes. I said that I want uh, Wayne Knight to play Penguin. And then uh, maybe in, from the 90s, maybe Gillian Anderson as Catwoman, who knows? Uh, and then uh, a, big, a big shout out to uh, Brandon Hobgood. Uh, he said that I'm bad at Tetris. You're absolutely correct. Alrighty, you guys, so that does it this week for Looter News Live. Um, if we read one of your answers, one of our team will message you to get you your free loot crate. And if we did not, be sure to check back with us next week, the same bat time, same bat channel, to join us live and have more chances at some free loot. As always, feel free to hit us up at Loot Crate on Twitter with hashtag Looter News. Go check out our YouTube channel for exclusive videos and all kinds of neat goodies. And we will be back next week with another Looter News Live. Shaboy! To the river of color, while we analyze to try to see it clearer, secretly appealing to a lonely prisoner. But now, what's your vision? Initiate your shade and blend the universe together. In time, it only gets a little easier. Suddenly, piece yourself back together now. What's your vision? vision.